everyone, and welcome to another HBCU Sports exclusive interview. My name is Jared Hoffman, and I'm here with a special guest. He is a Virginia State defensive back who is preparing for the NFL draft. It's Willie Drew. Thank you, Willie Drew, for joining me. Really appreciate you taking the time. Yes, sir. Thank you for the invite. I appreciate it. So you've had a pretty busy offseason. You were in the Senior Bowl. Uh, you got the NFL Combine coming up. You probably got Pro Days coming up. But before, before we get to that, before we get to your preparation of the NFL Draft, I want to get back to where it started for you when you first got to Virginia State. What brought you, 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 you transferred to Virginia State from James Madison. What brought you to Virginia State? Um, it was just like the first opportunity that presented itself to me, man. And I, and I jumped on it. Um, all I needed was a second chance to play ball. And uh, Virginia State gave me the opportunity. Yeah, so you played for two coaching juggernauts in Reggie Barlow, who's currently the D.C. Defenders coach in the UFL, and Henry Frazier III, who has been all over the HBCU football scene, Bowie State, Prairie View a and m what was it like coach, being coached by two, those two coaching giants? And what did you learn from them that has helped you throughout your process and your growth as a player? Oh, man, it was a blessing uh, to have two coaches like that, man. It was an honor to be coached by those guys, man. They taught me a lot um, just from pivoting in life to pivoting on the field. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just adversity is going to happen in life and on the field. You just have to pivot. So they taught me a lot. Yeah, absolutely. And so having having two mentors like that, one of which played in the NFL, how did how so it was Reggie Barlow when you first got there. He was there for a year before he went to the DC Defenders. How how was it how did it help your confidence knowing that you were being coached by a guy who had played at the next level in the NFL? And how how did it when you when you're and then when you're coached by a guy who is uh has had success winning CIAA championships and coaching in the SWAC. What what was it like having guys like that who had the experience and and how how did it build your confidence knowing that the team could uh, get better? Because when you first started there, you know you guys were three and six, had a rough season in the first start, and then you you kept building each year. What was it that helped you guys turn the corner? Um, being there like with Coach Barlow, like. Um just learning from an NFL, you know what I'm saying, a legend, you know what I'm saying? He won a Super Bowl, um, you know what I'm saying? He played in the NFL. So just learning just the little things from him, like just picking at his brain, learning the little things that he did to get to the NFL. And then, um, like, building with Coach Frazier, you know what I'm saying? We just – everyone – we just had to get everyone to buy into the culture that we had going on. So once everyone bought into the culture, you know what I'm saying, we started winning. Absolutely. Now, for you as an individual player – what was that moment in your college career that made you think this is the mo moment where I feel like I have arrived and I feel like I belong amongst the top competitors and not just the CIAA or Division II football, but in college and in, 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 uh, college football in general? What, made, what was that moment that made you feel like I'm one of the best talents in college football and I belong at the next level? Um, I say when I was um, given the, the achievement of defensive player of the year, um, that meant a lot to me, um, showing that, you know what I'm saying, that I was a great player, a great a great team a team leader as well. Um, and then just getting the Reese Bowl invite, just showing that I can play with the best of the best. Okay, now you, you're you you're at the point where you are you have played in the, uh, you declared for the draft and now you're played in the Senior Bowl. What was that experience like playing amongst the best players, the draft eligible players in college football in the senior bowl being the one of the few division two representatives and the only hbcu representative what did that mean to you oh uh, man it was a blessing man um uh, shout out to jim Nagy for giving me the opportunity to play in the recent senior bowl man um uh, i took every moment in man uh because a lot of people don't get that moment and it was just it was just an honor and a blessing to me um so i thank him for that absolutely so if there was anything what was some things that you learned from that process of being in the senior bowl, working out and doing reps with some of the best wide receivers in college football, play, playing against some of the best quarterbacks 
in in college football. What was that? What, what was some things that you learned from that process that you believe will help you at the next level? Um, I learned that um, just having great technique and great eyes um, it means a lot because the little things and at that level because you know what I'm saying it can get you beat or it can make you make plays. So focus on on the little things. That's that's really that's really going to critique your craft and your technique. Absolutely, absolutely. So now going forward, you have, as we said, the NFL Combine. You have the Pro Day. What are some things that you are focus on, focusing on building on as you go out, the, go throughout this process that you believe will help you going forward? Um, just showing teams how smart I am, um, running fast, um, and being elusive in my drills. Just showing that I can bend and stuff in my drills. Right, right. So we got the HBCU Legacy Bowl coming up, and I, I, as far as I, we know, you're not you haven't been announced for it, and you're probably not participating in it. But what are some things that you haven't played in the Senior Bowl? What are some advice that you could give to the guys who are playing in that game about what you, you what to be prepared for in terms of you know showcasing your talents? You know, this is a big moment for a lot of guys who are trying to increase their stock in the NFL draft. What are some things that you feel like they should be prepared for in this moment? Um, I say just go out there and be yourself, man. Don't don't overthink it. Uh, we've been playing this game since you were a kid. So it's just, it's just another day of putting your pass on, tie your cleats up, man. So don't overthink it. Be yourself and go out there and be a baller. Right, right. So you you come from a school in Virginia State that has recently had some success in getting guys to that next level in the NFL. You know, you had Trenton Cannon, who played in the NFL for a couple of years with the Tennessee Titans. Uh, you had Will Adams, who was signed to the Washington Commanders practice squad or the training camp squad, I believe. What is it about Virginia, the Virginia State program that helps guys get prepared for the next level? Um, I mean, we just breed, we just breed great players, man. Um, just coming from the D2 level, we have a chip on our shoulders, man. And a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? We don't get the opportunity. So when we get the opportunity, we jump on it, man. So we breed dogs. Yeah. Yeah. And you as an individual player, who are some players that you looked at when growing up? So, so it could be NFL players or guys at the college level. Who are some guys that inspired your style of play? Um, Jalen Ramsey and AJ Terrell uh, were two of the main guys that I looked at when I was when I was growing up playing playing, playing ball. Well, Jalen Ramsey's still in the league. Is it? It's likely that you could potentially become a teammate with him. You could probably be on the practice squad, or you could be on. You could possibly be on the fifty-three man roster alongside him. Is that is that something that you potentially thought about that you could potentially be playing with your your favorite player? Hey, if I have this God's willing, man, uh, it'll be all it'll be all worth as well. Absolutely, absolutely. So going forward with throughout this process, there's you could potentially be taken in the NFL draft. You could potentially go undrafted, or however it could potentially work out, or you could potentially be in the UFL. Either way, what would it mean for you to be playing professional football? Uh, a lifelong dream, man. My my dream is finally coming to reality, man. After my journey that I've been through, it's it's a blessing to be where I am and to get to the NFL. Right, right, right. And last question. I know that you probably. I know you said it'd be a blessing to be anywhere. Uh, I I know that you just gracious for this opportunity. But between you and me and the world. If there was one team that you could be signed to, who would it be? Hey, and it, it's, it's 32 teams in the NFL, man. All I need is one to like me. So any 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 one team that that's willing to, to give me the opportunity, man, uh, and I appreciate them for it. And we're going to hopefully get a Super Bowl that year. Hey, man, I, I like the humility. Uh, and, you know, the CIAA, we – I'm a Bowie State alum, so we've had a fair share of CIAA guys, and you got we got Joshua Pryor who's in the in the league now. We got Joshua Williams. Who, I know I said last question, but I, I this just came to my head. We got you got uh, Joshua Williams who just won his second straight Super Bowl. Man, the CIAA breeds a lot of talent. What is it like competing 
against the guys in the CIAA and how do you feel like the CIAA is slept on as a football conference? I know we, we get a lot of credit for our basketball tournament, which is coming up at the end of the month. We, we get a lot of credit for that, but we, we, we have a lot of talent that is, that has had a lot of success going, going to the next level. What is, what is it like competing with the top guys in the CIAA every Saturday? Uh, the CIAA, like, it's, it's, it's underrated, you know what I'm saying. So, we have a lot of we have a lot of dogs in the CIAA that slept on, but um, hopefully soon sooner than later that the light is shining on the CIAA. For sure, man. But uh, good luck going forward. I, I hope that you know you make the most out of this process and you enjoy it, and that you know it's fulfilling for you. And and all the other guys, you know, going forward, you still you got your uh, your pro day going forward. You got the NFL Combine. We still we got the HBCU Legacy Bowl. So there's a lot of uh, a lot to go around in these next couple of weeks. But thank you so much for joining me. If you could let the people know where they could follow you and what they could look out out for going forward. Um, yes, sir. Thank you for this opportunity, man. And my Instagram is Drew D R E W two dot three underscore. All right. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you can leave a like, comment and subscribe to the channel. And you can always look for HBCUsports.com for all the latest updates in HBCU sports. Until then, peace, guys.